We are going today to get a COVID test. We're going to a CVS. We have an appointment this morning, so let's go. Oh, here's our ride. We haven't had any sort of symptoms or anything. But when I read online, it said, do not go in the store. Please wait in your vehicle or else it's the calls. So where do we go for the COVID testing? You have to uh, get in your car and go through the drive thru You said you have to go through the Uber car. Through the Uber car? Huh? Jeez. Okay. So we're gonna have to call an Uber to drive us through. Are you are you serious about this? One thing I'm looking forward to in Panama is there's so many available taxis. Hi, I'm from JediRich.com. Okay, so we have a very strange request, but they're making us drive through. We don't have a vehicle right now. Okay, so the um, right now the destination it says Emerald Suites. Yes, but instead we're just staying here. We're just going. Okay, I'm just going to need both drivers' licenses and also the uh, verification code. Help because. And help you check in the COVID test at CVS before. We'll just be the first time. This is the first time. Okay. This. okay. You're going to find the side that says to open. Then you're going to take it from the corner. So find the two parts with your finger, then peel it off to open it. This is going to be a nasal press. And then make sure to leave it in there for 15 seconds. Oh, it makes your eyes water. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, it makes your eyes sneeze. Oh, it makes your eyes sneeze. Mine wasn't in. You can then drop both of the bags in here. That's your last set. And then drop it right in. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then do we get an email? I'm not sure why we couldn't have done that walk up and do that. I know, also free, the testing over here. We are going today to get a COVID test. Because here's the deal, you need a COVID test within 96 hours um, of arriving in the country. So it has can't be older than that. So that's four days. Um, but the test takes two to three days to get the results. And I was looking at some that took seven days. So I was like, well, that's not gonna work. But I found one that'll take two to three days because I have no rapid testing available um, in Nevada anymore, if there ever was. I looked up where the closest rapid testing, it said, oh, um, the closest one is in Fort Worth, Texas, over a thousand miles away. I was like, oh, great. We're going to a CVS. We have an appointment this morning, so let's go. Oh, here's our ride. Here we go. All right. Hi, for Jedi Rich. How's it going? Yes. Very good. We haven't had any sort of symptoms or anything like that. So. But when I read online, it said, do not go in the store. So let's see what this store is doing. I don't know if everything, every place is the same. That was just like CVS. So let's see what they're saying here. Please wait in your vehicle or else it's Let's go for the COVID testing. You have to uh, get in your car and go through the drive-thru. Okay, if we don't have a car, what do we do? Can we still just walk through the drive-thru? I'm not sure about that. Hold on, let me ask. Okay. You said you have to go through the Uber car. Through the Uber car? Huh? What'd you say? You had to go through with the car. With a car? Yeah. So, people so if, would... if you have a friend or something that could take you through? Okay. And we done. How long to test it? A couple minutes, I think. Why do you just call it Uber? I'm going to see like Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Thank you. Oh, 
confused. Okay. That's because you need a car. You need a car. So we're gonna have to call an Uber to drive us through. Are you are you serious about this? Can we just go walk up there and see? Let's just go walk up there and see ourselves. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go check this out myself. This is insane. Let's go see. Let's What's she doing? All right, so we're gonna have this driver, instead of driving us home, drive us through the COVID test. The COVID test. Okay, good. It, it looks like a guy that seems chill. He's a dude in a Toyota Corolla. That's a good sign because here's the things to look for. So when you see like a Mercedes or, you know, a Lexus or something, you're like, oh no. Because those people didn't buy their car to become an Uber or Lyft driver. They bought their car and then couldn't afford it and had to become an Uber or Lyft driver. One thing I'm looking forward to in Panama is there's so many available taxis. I heard they have Lyft and Uber, but I wouldn't even probably bother with it there. We'll see. Hi, I'm from JediRich.com. Hey, so we have a very strange request. Put the, put the COVID place okay, or the somewhere minute. close to the COVID place as a stop. Okay, because it's right here. Okay. So, yeah, I'll add that. Okay. Oh, it's right here? Yeah, that's yeah what they, would, they, they wouldn't let us they go in with their car. They wouldn't let us walk through either. And we're like, really? Well, so you have to have a... Yes. Right? Yeah, so I'll add, yeah, I'll add... Um, <laughs> This whole society is falling apart. <laughs> we can't get on a plane without the test. We can't get a test without a car. Will, will you get the results within 72 hours? That, that's hopefully. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. It's like it's, it's that's, a test. That's, 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 that's the test on All right. Yes. What's the last thing? A light teller. Okay. I'm just going to need both driver's license and also the uh, verification code. Oh, okay. It's going to be found in the email or text message. Okay. Yeah, let me get. I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you. you have to quarantine when you get to Panama? Only if we test positive. Oh. Which hopefully we know. I'm, I'm trying to get to Thailand myself, but it's a mess over there right now. Oh, oh man. Really? What's, what's going on there? Well, just, they, they were going to initiate a special a tourist uh, they call it the special tourist visa program, which, you know, you would have to quarantine for two weeks at a designated, you know, list of hotels. And then you'd be able to stay up to 90 days once that's finished. 150 tourists from China signed up for it, and they were en route, and then they canceled it. So supposedly they didn't get any refunds. They, they need a 96-hour test. They need it within 96 hours, but then when I looked online, they said this should be within two to three days. We should get an email back with our results. But we first, I got um, an appointment for a place. It was one of the just health centers here, but they said the results wouldn't be for seven days. After I made my appointment, I said, oh, that's not going to work. Yeah. Give me one moment to finish the second process. Okay. Okay. What do we need so to do for this thing? Yeah, you know, they're... I think most people doing the testing are probably the people that are just trying to travel, though, for the most part. <laughs> The, uh, well, I think we all can conclude, I mean, if, if Chris Christie and Donald Trump will survive the virus, I mean, it's not deadly. I'm not afraid. Are you? I, I try and do the precautionary measures, mask, and... But based, on, but based on the evidence I have literally seen, I have seen evidence that it is not a deadly virus. Because Tom, they said that people that were not healthy and they... old or old and um, I would say Donald Trump is not the healthiest and he's, he's, large. he's getting older. They said it would be people in their 70s would be at risk. High risk. That would be evidence to me that it's very, very interesting what's happening. I know it does affect people differently. I mean, my son's roommate up north at UNR, yeah. Nervous Arena, he, he got it. He was pretty sick for a couple of weeks. But he survived. Yeah. But well, that's my point. The, the definition of a deadly virus means that it must kill you. First they said, oh, it's everyone's going to die. Then when Tom Hanks and people started getting a living, then it's, oh, it's the people over 65. Okay, 
And then they said it was, the people are really overweight. And, they, and then, yeah, I know that. It helped because. And I'll be taking the COVID test at CVS before. Will this be the first time? This is the first time. Oh, okie dokie. So I have the bags in order. So I do have you on top, and then I have Richard's bag on the bottom, okay? Okay, we'll do this real, real quick. Just some long swaps, guys. Okay. Okay. Start by the bag on the inside, but you're going to reach into the front and take out the swab that is in there first. The swab? This is the swab, right? That's the swab, yeah. You're going to find the side that says to open, then you're going to take it from the corner, separate the two parts with your finger, then peel it off to open it. This is going to be a nasal press. You'll be doing the same thing to both sides, one at a time, using the same swab for both. You are going to insert one inch of the swab into your nostril, and then once it is in there, you will rotate it two times, and then make sure to leave it in there for 15 seconds. Oh, my eyes are. You're gonna do the same thing on the other side using the same swab. Oh, oh, it makes you want to sneeze. Oh man, it makes you want to sneeze. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it makes you sneeze. Whoa. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> it makes your eyes water and stuff. Okay. And then once you're finished, you're going to find the line that is in the middle of the stick, and then you're going to break it in half. Okay, okay, I see that, yeah. Okay. Ooh. And you're going to take out the tube that is the deep part section of the fourth magnet. Oh, I'm like, what is going on here? You're going to unscrew the red top, then you're going to place the swab with the cotton facing the bottom of the screw. Okay, so down? Yep, just like that. Okay. Try to drop it in, make sure that the cap is on all the way, and you're going to put it right back inside of the same spot in the flush bag. Okay. Mine was in it. Mine was in it. And then put it in back there. I didn't have as much snot on mine as yours. Is that okay? You're going to start from the bottom and roll that bag all the way up until it reaches the top. Both items just tie points. And after that, there's a rubber band on the very bottom of the brown paper bag on the inside. You're going to use that one to tie that around it. Okay. All right. Is that it? You're going to drop both of the bags in here. That's your last step. Okay. You're finished. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, so if you just pull You're them in it in. Yeah, I'll just drop it in there. Thank you. Thank you. Just make sure to open up from the top and then drop it right in. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then do we get an email? Yes, we're going to get an email. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you, sir. So we'll give you a $10 tip for that. Thank you. Oh, wait a yeah. I'm not sure why we couldn't have done that walk up to do that. I know, we asked if we could yeah, walk up. Why weren't we able to walk up and do that? That's silly. Now, I didn't have as much snot on mine as yours. What? Yours was all yellow. Mine did, wasn't. Did you rub it? All did you stick it up all the way? Yeah. How far? Like, like... Not to my eyeball, up, no. Up, up here, like, the top. No. I think you did. I didn't do that. I just kind of rubbed it around here and, and right about right here. You think that's okay? What happens to you not get, like, do they not get the results? Well, they don't have enough sample, but it was a little bit, I mean, okay. you were way up by your eyeball, you have to go, huh? No, I wasn't way up there. It just, it makes your eyes water. It wasn't my eyeball. I went about right here, right to the, oh, that should be the septum, basically. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I think it's awesome, guys. You got your, your headed out there. Oh, yeah, and I just added the $10 tip for doing that. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, oh, what happens is if it comes back negative or you don't have a test, then then you take a test there and it's fifty dollars yeah which isn't bad so our worst case is we just pay fifty dollars a piece at the airport which 
I, I thought it would be way worse than that, so that's going to be the worst case, but I would, I just wanted to make sure we weren't, like, stuck, like, standing in some super long line, or, you know, I don't know what it is at the airport, so this was easier. This is also free, the testing over here, oh. which is nice. Um, well, I hope I got, I got enough of sample on there. I'm sure you did. Yours, are, yours all missing, you're sneezing. Well, only the one nostril made me sneeze, so it just, it just okay, we'll see. The other one didn't, so. I don't know. This whole thing gives me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> I realize this one said two to three days, so. But they said this one could take. So, okay, the long, we'll but see. it looks like it wasn't very busy, so. We'll see, we'll see. So just curious, folks, how would you describe Panama to someone who's never been there? Well, what I would say is it's, for one thing, so wet and green compared to like here because mm. it rains every single day but not an annoying sort of rain because so it's really green but it's also really um, alive like there's constant taxis people everywhere just that energy if you've ever been anywhere in latin america there's just like this energy where people are just kind of always having fun even though they don't have a lot of money because not a lot of money there but they're just they have like dancing in the street you know they'll have a uh, Parades and fireworks. Oh, every yeah. weekend. Yeah, every weekend you're like, why is there fireworks? It's like, oh, because it's Friday. Is, is, it, it, is it affordable? Yeah, actually, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's um, more affordable than here, but it's not super cheap because it's not um, like a third world country. Some people think like Panama still has a lot of like infrastructure that's similar to. The I would say that. Like we're in a, we got we rented a, a 18th floor high rise, two bedroom, two bathroom, for eight hundred dollars a month, all included. So you can't get much cheaper than eight hundred dollars a month, but that's in a high rise, you know, and that's a nice apartment. So they're comparable in prices. So you probably spend six. And this is in the city, mind you. On the outskirts, you can get places for nothing. Where that's yeah. where it's uh, very, but there's nothing out there. So. The thing about Panama is it's really small. Huh? It's really small as a country. Oh, right. But the city is where most everything is, and the rest of it is so desolate. So, But the, even the whole country is just so small, really. They, they use the American dollar? Yeah, you're allowed to use American dollars. It's exactly the same. They have a thing called Balboa, but it's the same. Same so exchange. You use, yeah. you can, the biggest way, if you're trying to describe, where are you from originally? Okay, easy. So, the best way to describe it would be like, okay, Panama would be to San Francisco as San Diego is to Las Vegas. Not, you know, people don't sue, I don't think, there. Like, I don't think other countries you can really sue about things, so there's just a lot more, like, just huge holes in the middle of the road that you could just fall in, you know? And you're like, a it, lot of stray a animals. Lot of, yeah, interesting is you'll be walking along and you're like, if it was night, I mean, you could literally, like, fall in these massive holes in the middle of the sidewalk, you know? Or in America, someone would sue. Five dollars to go to the doctor. Anybody. Whether, anyone. If you're a anyone. tourist, anyone. Five bucks. We went several times, and, I mean, it might You have to wait best health care but it's you could pay more yeah. if you'd want to get in and get a bit but if you want the state-run doctors it's five dollars it's five dollars you sit in the waiting room it takes yeah. a couple hours they give you the, the same scripts you'd get at a regular but what's doctor. funny is you, they send you to the pharmacy and you, like when we were there we had to inject <laughs> ourselves and we didn't know how yeah. they like, assumed we knew how they don't give you any rules so you, you give you a needle and like the thing <laughs> you're like oh gee okay. i think the average panamanian there is, is is has more education as far as health than than, than americans just in because general was, yeah like the police there are kind of funny because uh they're they're uh kind of like their military and their police are the same but they're pretty chill in a way like like they don't really care if people are running around partying in the streets or whatever that doesn't bother them at all it's really serious stuff that they that was the storage calling so um, we have to move our storage so we had a storage unit here that started with $99 now it's up to $175 a month we found another one for $115 but I know they'll just keep raising on that one too but at least it'll start is it a 10 by 10 or something? yeah 10 by 10 but they actually had to cancel that one because that was originally going to be September 30th we were going to leave but the airport isn't opening till today but they didn't know that when those flights were originally scheduled so they canceled that one and then we got another one and then that one got canceled too so the earliest we could finally get was the 15th because they finally figured out, because no one knew when the airport was going to open, then finally they got a date. Why? Right. Well, they were worried that it would be Spread more that. of an issue in the traffic. Spread, it would be a very big issue out there. So they shut it down. That's how you pump and take a dump. Not the dump. I'm 
Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out. Check it out. 